Hello. In this video I want to discuss restraints in SolidWorks Simulation. So there's a quite an important issue when you create restraints that you should know. And that is that when you create restraints on a, a solid object, uh, you, you fix for example some nodes, then they are only fixed in translation, not in rotation. And I, I want to show a simple test of how you can actually uh, see that, find that out with a very simple test. So I'll create a sheet in a a solid element and then afterwards I'll create the same simulation but then with a, a shell element and then look at the difference so I've got a material inside this part already I use a template and I'm gonna uh, I'll save the file first mm. this case in solids so I'll name this part solid I'll create a new simulation and then for example I'll do just a very simple fixture on this case I will uh, fix a line and then I'll, I'll show that it still can rotate the part so that's different when compared to when you use beams or shell elements so when I fix this line now it's only fixed in translation not in rotation and I can see that when I enter for example a load a force over here and I'll run the study I will get an error. See, so this this is an error. It says the restraints were not proper. And let me see what it says. Mm, click yes to solve with the large display. So let's uh, try that. I'll try yes, and then probably I'll see this part rotating because it's it's not fixed properly, so it can still rotate. So let's see if this uh, takes a long time. I get an error which uh, which I expected so yeah it's an error and when I change that so when I change this fixture to the whole surface not the line but the surface then it will calculate because now because I uh, restrain the surface this surface cannot translate but therefore it can also not rotate because the upper nodes are restrained in translation but also the lower nodes which will save the part from starting to rotate so now I will not get this error So you, you see now now I get the results so that's different to when you use shells or beams so in this video I will only show it with shell elements I'll create a simple setup a simple simulation setup with a uh, shell elements and then I'll fix them as well and then you'll see that when you fix the shell elements that uh, then the rotation is restrained so th that's a, a difference that you should realize when performing simulation so now I'll create a surface over here uh, just planar surface uh, that's convenient to create shell element analysis so I'll save this part in the other directory that I created so I'll call it shell and now I'll create a new simulation study here as well and then uh, material is already specified because it was in the SolidWorks part I'll fix this fixed geometry over here fixed and now you see here a difference between fixed geometry and uh, immovable no no translation so in this case it can rotate the part again when I enter this force on the top and in this case it cannot so the, the shell elements they can restrain rotation whereas the solid elements you can only restrain rotation by choosing your restraints on a, a surface and not on a line or a point so now here to show that I'll create this force over here one Newton uh, I have to define a thickness of the shell so I'll define a thickness of five millimeters and then I'll save the file and I'll run it and now I won't get an error as you can see because in this case with shell elements I can show the mesh I can do that in the settings over here uh, settings and choose mesh so you can see it's a triangle element so not per pyramid shaped elements like they are in solid so it's really triangles this is a shell analysis and then you can restrain the rotation so if you would change this fixture here to immovable 
then it can rotate again and then you will get the same error as with the solids so it's a good thing to uh, keep in mind when doing analysis with sh shells or solids with solids you can only uh, restrain rotation by placing your restraints on faces not on lines or points so that was uh, what i wanted to show in this video thanks for watching